So what's going on, what's going on, what's going on guys? It's your boy Tay and today it is grand opening here in South Carolina at a Ben store. Yes, you see that sign that says Dream Deals, but it is no more. That store is over with. This is Palmetto Deals Extreme. And today is their grand opening. They open here in about 10 minutes. I took a long 10 hour drive, so you know I better find some profits. Uh, yeah, and if you're new to the channel, my name is Dante. Welcome to the channel. Make sure you hit that subscribe button for your boy. And I'm all about the profits. I'm all about going to Ben stores, Goodwills, Rosses, Walmarts, if you name it, and there's profits in the store. That's what I'm trying to find. I need all the profits I can get. Anyways, let me go ahead and uh, get ready to get these profits because I'm that's what I'm here for. So let's get prepared. And I am literally sweating, like perspiring, coming down. It is so hot here in South Carolina. I'm not gonna complain though because I know how cold it will get in Michigan. So we're not gonna do that. No complaints here. Embrace the heat for now. Look at all the people, guys. And they still coming, still coming. Like we're super wrapped around. Oh, thank you. Appreciate that. Yeah. Thank you so much. You're very entertaining. Thank you so much. I appreciate yeah, I that. I get everybody to watch. My mother-in-law. Oh, thank you. Oh, appreciate that. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's how we figured this out. You know, coming here. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Get out of here. Get out of here. You watch my channel. You know what I do. I know. Okay, take we'll split it. There we go. Somebody want it. Somebody asked for somebody. Got it. I don't want it. Of course. Hope you find something good. No problem. Appreciate you speaking to me. Yeah, I waited. I don't know it's gonna be like a stampede. Morning. So, no, yeah. see, well, here, here I am. No, huh? With a GoPro? Palmetto deal. If you've ever been to Palmetto deal, it's an experience. Nice people. They'll help you. Let them help you open your stuff. Lots of things. This guy right here. How are you doing, sir? What's up, sir? How are you? Doing all right? Good to see you. Hope you enjoy it. Oh, no, no, no. Hi, Oh, oh my God! God. Right. Roblox. <laughs> wow. Not as well. Hey, what's going on? So, guys, normally when we come to these grand openings, we make out with a lot of profit and that's normally normally i go to these grand openings and i walk out with anywhere between five to thousands of dollars worth of profit and that's all depending on the money that i initially put in so you never know but the return on investments in places like these are pretty astronomical and that's no exaggeration as you see i grabbed that weighted blanket that y and m weighted blanket i've walked past like two or three of them but they're all over the bins at this point so i really aren't too concerned with just grabbing a bunch of them because normally when i see a bunch of items like that i will just wait until like the end to put them in my buggy but i didn't know the worth of the blankets either if you need anything open please let us know we will be glad Yeah, so coming to these bin stores is just like really one big treasure hunt. As you can see, those just weighted blankets all over the place. I should have just put every single one of them in my buggy. But I also noticed certain kind of boxes like this box right here. Normally, these are massage guns. I gave it a shake. Normally, they're massage guns. Not 100% of the time. I will get them looked at a little bit later. But yeah, just big treasure hunt coming here, finding all these items. Hey, how you doing? All right. Good, man. <laughs> Appreciate that. <laughs> now, I know y'all saw that. I had to replay just to make sure that I wasn't going crazy. I have a grip and he's literally trying to snatch it out of my hand. But I am a nice guy. I made sure that I placed it in his hand. And you see the smile that he gives me because he knew he was wrong. But it is what it is. Because there were so many in the store, that was the main reason I really just gave it to him because it's really not worth it. 
Although I didn't know he had 75 of them in his buggy. <laughs> so for me, it's back to these profits trying to find something profitable because that's the name of the game, especially at this grand opening. Look at how I maneuver when I go through all these carts. You see a boy. Y'all see that? Almost ran Holly over. <laughs> Also, I want you to keep in mind, I want you to come from the perspective as two different people, A, as the reseller, and B, as a normal person who just wants to come find deals. This place would be amazing for you to just come in here and find deals for your family, especially if you wanna get geared up for Christmas, holidays. They have so many different items in these bin stores that is just worth it in general. And from the reseller's perspective, guys, if you've seen the videos, you've seen the items that I found in these bin stores as I reach around and grab a weighted blanket. But you see the profit that is in the stores, no matter what niche that you're in. I don't personally have a specific niche, but you, you guys seen that there's profits in the bin stores. And it's lovely because they have the consecutive days where the prices actually go down. So you don't even need to go on the high dollar day on the restock day to find good items. A lot of these items will be here on like a $3 day or a $2 day. Hey, what's going on? Doing all right? It's been a while. You doing all right? What are you guys all that quick, boy? <laughs> Shut up quick. Yeah, Say what's up to the people, man. What's up? <laughs> so I gained like 50 subscribers after that video too. So oh, really? So I'm at like 150 subscribers. Let's go. That's what's up, man. All right, I'm going to try to find some stuff. I'll holler you before I go though. <laughs> For y'all don't know, I had met Renix at a previous bin store and we did a nice shout out for him and y'all y'all showed love. Got me a new buggy. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not a What is this stuff right here? How are you doing? Hey, how are you doing? This will be part of their extreme part. They have like bins dedicated to nothing but big items. I did grab some of these big items so you'll be able to see when I go home. But these big items are like $25 for one individual item or you can get two for $40 and then those prices drop as well. So the next day each item would be 20, then the next day 15 and then so on and so forth. Hey, what's going on, Jesse? What's up, good? Yeah, what about yourself? I was looking for the phone. Hi, everybody was. That was it. Oh. What's going on? <laughs> huh? Yeah, I think, I don't know. What's up, fella? How you doing? Good, good, good. This is when I decided to take my buggy and just stop and look up these weighted blankets. I wanted to see exactly how much they were worth would they be a waste of my time me buying so many of them so that's what i did i looked them up on amazon as well as ebay so and i came up with my price i looked and just did my due diligence and making sure it's an item that would be worth my money uh, not really not like i thought i would yeah. Depends if these are the right ones, yes. If they're the wrong ones, no. Oh, was it way to find it? Yeah. There's ones that are like a hundred dollars, but I don't think these are it. I grabbed I some shoes back if you have any shoes. That's not my cup of tea. There's two boxes right there. Nah, randoms. Some random shoes. Yeah. yeah. Hello. Hello, how are you doing? Hey, I appreciate that. This area is another area. This is like their retail side where they have like multiple of the same items you can purchase. Oh, excuse Hi. me. Remember you from that time? Remember that lady growled at you? Yep, I do. Yep. Yeah. We're, yes, ma'am. You doing okay? Hey, how you doing? Good, how are you? Pretty good. Nothing so far. Right. Some gifts. I got a Wii U guitar here, little thing. Oh, did you? Got it here? Yeah. Oh, okay. I think that's good. Thank you. $33? How'd I know? Should have known it was going to be him. 
I used to work with them. Oh, really? <laughs> And then they also do have pallets, which obviously I couldn't get a pallet because I was in South Carolina at the time. I do, but I don't know Why is your face blurred? It's bad. No, it's, I'm sweating. No, I'm sweating. I don't know how to get here for your job. You got to put your GPS. Okay. At least you're glad somebody found something. Monster drinks? I'm off. They're right there. Oh, okay. I got more. You ain't getting nothing there. Hey! Hey! Which one is it? Windows 10, I'm surprised you found that. I think they're like 20, 20 bucks. Found, you know. I'm gonna try to do some more digging, man, because like I said, I don't think I found anything to waste my. Yeah. I got one of these the other day, I think it was like $20. I saw one for like 120 but then you know how that goes. You gotta really look at the price, see which one it is, all that good stuff. It's looking like I might have to buy me a pallet. Please do! Oh. <laughs> 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 oh, that's the one I like. Checking out the Monster Energy drinks, the lemonade and tea. Yeah, I gotta get it. Don't do it. Right at the bottom. Let's get it. You said it was at the bottom? Yeah, yeah, very bottom. Good. It was about the same. I was like, I'm not for you. Right, right at the bottom, good. so I'm happy. I ain't found nothing. Take care, yes. What is this I'm hearing about you? Hey, man. Hey, literally, just been, just about it. Just about it. All right, we're even, we even now. Yeah, we're even now. It's not that great. So as you can see, guys, in the middle of the store, luckily they don't have the music on, but the line is over there. So we see the line starting there, and it's literally wrapped all the way around to way over there. So it's like, yeah, there's no point in me checking out. I might as well just keep looking in the bins because the line is extremely long. So, whew, that part. So right now I'm just kind of digging, seeing if I can find a little gem or something. And I'm glad I did because I did find something and I'll show you that at the end of the video. I found the um, computer core thing, the little computer part. I was talking junk at first. I was like, I'm not finding nothing, and then I found it. So. Okay, guys, so this is gonna be the tedious task where I go over all of these items, check all my comps, see exactly what they're worth. I've done it a thousand times before in all my previous videos, but you will see me exit the building and probably go over all the items that we actually did purchase at the house, or maybe in the car, I'm not sure, but we'll go over it some point in time. Plus my battery's about to die, so. Yeah, and I don't feel like going to get my other one out of the car. Anyway, so go through all the stuff that you see here, and then we will review it here in a minute. I see you watching me. <laughs> oh boy. Uh oh. What's going on, guys? <laughs> I just came back. I'm about to help them actually do some restocking and it's gonna be fun and there's a bunch of police behind me but I don't know why <laughs> mind my business we're gonna go this way you got me doing the trash see volunteering so that pretty much concludes the grand opening of the Palmetto Deals Extreme we had cops getting called, people trying to steal items, all kinds of craziness. But above all, we found some profits. So we're going to start off by going over the big items that we grabbed in the extreme part. You know, so they have like the typical bins and then they had like the big items where you could pay two items for $40 or $25, $25 a piece. So I went ahead and bought a few of those items. Um, these were two for 40 and both of these little tyke fantastic first place sets. they're selling for like $70 a piece on Amazon and then right here we're gonna have this portable washing machine that is selling for like around 150 to 200 and something dollars just depends on the brand I have not opened it yet but I only have $20 in to this item then right here we're going to have this Bowflex system this thing is selling for like around $200 people are trying to sell it for like two 
they're selling consistently from like around 165 159 160 or so and i only have 20 20 dollars into this item and then we're gonna have one of these chairs this chair is going for like around 70 bucks this is like one of those good old beach slash camping chairs i can prop my feet up chill put some cups inside of it and all kinds of good stuff and then we're gonna have this bookcase right here uh obviously i'm not gonna take it out of the box but this is a very nice bookcase you should see by the pictures not gonna sh not sure if i'm gonna keep it or actually sell it i grabbed it just because i know i can make profit on it sell it for like around 80 to 100 and something dollars and if you see by the pictures it is a good looking bookshelf and those are all the like the big items that we grabbed so in essence i paid 20 dollars per item since i did take the discounted route by buying two items per piece so yeah you can't really beat that because i'm going to make my money back in the little bowflex machine probably by itself and then the portable washer and dryer and then these little tight things i might just put up at a yard sale or something and if they don't go on the yard sale then i will put them on ebay slash and amazon and then of course we have all of the bin items that we have to go through okay guys um the, all of these items right here that i have right here spaced out on the floor i purchased all of these items for six dollars it was six dollars per item let's go over all of the items and now in this bag right here we're gonna have all of these cards i paid six dollars for these cards and i will leave a screenshot of what the price for these cards are these romance angel cards which i probably need to like open and do a little bit further deep dive i've seen sales counts on these cards go for like a hundred and something dollars plus these cards right here so I'm not sure i saw some go for like 20 and then some go for like over a hundred several go for hundreds of dollars so let's say hypothetically if i can get one or two to sell for a hundred i have like one two three four five of them i think and i have six dollars into it so i don't know let let me know what you guys think you see that they've been selling like crazy for again a hundred and something dollars and i have like five or six of them that i paid pretty much a dollar a piece for because it was six dollar day then we're gonna find this Samsung water filter. I've sold this a thousand times for like around the $28 to $33 range. Then we're gonna have this Philips Sonic Care right here. This is like $160 or $70 machine or something like that. But when you look inside of it, it is not in there. And I did look before I purchased the item. I knew it wasn't in here, but inside it has this cup. But this cup in actuality is really a charger that comes with this and the charger by itself sells for some change. And actually, the toothbrush is in here. <laughs> wow, and it works. So this is true story. I had this item opened in the bin store. When we opened it, all we saw was the cup this case and that was it i don't know how because maybe he opened it wrong i didn't open it but well never mind the toothbrush is in here along with the accessories so this makes this item expensive again wow i swear to god look y'all are gonna think like i made this up completely made this up when he opened the thing it was only the cup inside of here like that's what he showed me he was like all oh, the toothbrush is missing and i even sat there and debated for a while i was like you know what i'm gonna get the cup anyway because the cup was selling for like i don't even know now maybe like 19 to 20 something dollars and it was selling consistently and i knew it had like the uh, um the adapter in there but we did not see the actual toothbrush itself so this whole thing just went from like 19 20 dollars to probably over a hundred yeah yeah so that's nice that is sweet i'm not even gonna lie yeah that is that is so i swear to god i thought there was nothing but the cup in here and yeah that changes everything that's what's up and i'm actually gonna scan it again just to see what it's worth 129 dollars 85 dollars for a refurbished one 132 dollars yeah so that is exciting guys i don't even know because even a lady in line and i hope maybe i had that on video probably not but even a lady in line when i bought that item she was like you know it's not in there right so she even checked and didn't see the toothbrush so i wasn't the only one who checked maybe i don't know maybe how they had it packaged but that's crazy that that toothbrush is in there and i'm taking too much time talking about that item so yeah i'm sorry but yeah sold counts consistently for over a hundred dollars hundred dollars yeah 90 
54 for a refurbished one, 69. So yeah, uh, that's exciting because I spent like $180 and that's uh, not, not gonna say too much for a grand opening, but still, wow. Yeah, okay, anyways. Now we're gonna have this David Platt book. Um, or maybe this is the, oh, this is the actual study guide. So I looked up the book and the book was worth like $25. So this is the actual study guide. It might be worth a little bit more. Only paid $6 for it. I bought it because I can send it to Amazon and I need to make some more Amazon sales. And then the next item we're gonna have is gonna be this Thermal Care heat wraps. Um, you see the packs are selling for like $24.99 for a nine pack, I believe. And I think I have two nine packs. So that was the main reason I bought it. Turned $6 into hopefully roughly around 50 maybe. I did find another massage gun. I always have instincts for these things. I told you in the previous video, when you see boxes like this, a lot of times they are massage guns in the bin stores. So we did find this massage gun. Probably going to put that on like Facebook Marketplace or something and see what happens. I found one of these Microsoft Windows DVDs. Haven't found one of these in a long time, like a long time. They usually sell for like around $28, $25 and they usually sell like hotcakes. Then we're going to find this Intel iCore 3 this processor. I'm shocked that I found this item to be honest because as I try to scan it, this item was just sitting in the bins forever. Like I've walked around the bins, it had been about a good 20 to 30 minutes and normally high dollar items don't sit in the bins like this, but they buried a lot of items on their restock day, which is good. It's, it's good you have to actually dig for items, but this really wasn't buried. This was just like kind of sitting on top. Um, I don't know if you saw that in the video or not, if I got a good shot of that, but it was just sitting on top. And yeah, and this is selling for like $145 brand new, $109 pre-owned, $125 pre-owned, $145 open box, $150 brand new. So yeah, that part. Excited I found this and I only paid $6 for it. So between the Sonic Care toothbrush and that thing I probably made 200 plus dollars and I only spent 180 dollars and that's not even including all the high dollar items that we already went over that's the big box items so this and these two items will pay for my whole lot and everything else is just profit I mean that's how if you really want to look at it yeah I spent 180 and really is a little bit I'm making profit off of that that's where my profit starts so that's exciting. I'm sorry. I'm getting off track. I'm getting off track. We only have a few more items to go anyway. So then we have two Yetis. My homeboy found a Yeti and he gave it to me. And then I found a Yeti myself and I'm going to keep it. But boom, we got some Yetis. I found a Yeti a long time ago at another store, but glad to find the Yetis. You can never go wrong with the Yeti. Then we found this makeup. This is a IOP. Live Lift, I think this is selling for like around 35 bucks or so. I'm not gonna look it up right this second, but as always, I'll have screenshots right next to me. We found this iced tea brew maker from Nostalgia. Uh, I think I saw comps for anywhere between like 35 and up. I uh, saw one for like $60 maybe, but who knows how that may go. And then we can say, finally, we have, I'm gonna bring you down for this one because actually, yeah, we'll just stay up. Um, for this one, Oh, we are gonna have a bunch of these weighted blankets. These are going for like around $100, just depends on where you look. So anywhere between like $70 plus. And I got one, two, three, four, five. I got six of them, probably gonna keep one. So I have five of them. So as you can see, we have one that's already open because I wanted to look at it and see exactly the brand, the size and everything. And these are the 15 pounders. So I think they're going for like around $70 consistently, somewhere around that price range. And you, I mean, you can't beat that. I mean, so that was a nice grand opening. <laughs> yeah, I know a lot of you are probably here because you're like, hey, I want to know the story about what happened. Somebody tried to steal stuff on the grand opening. So here's an idea. Don't steal stuff. Common sense. Um, so as you can see, I uh, tried to get a good shot of the police when they were outside. I had no idea what they were outside for, but then they were surrounded by some, I, I mean, they were surrounding some people. And then you saw like one of the employees walking back with items in their hand, which is kind of an indication that somebody done stole something. And, uh, yeah. So later on, you know, I had to find out the scoop what's going on. 
somebody decided while they were busy that nobody would be watching them and they would grab some items that they wanted and not pay for it. So they decided just to run out the building because that was the best option because, you know, maybe they didn't have money, maybe because, who knows, who comes to a grand opening without money and without intentions of paying for something? Like, yeah, it's a bin store, but security be on point at these bin stores. Employees be walking around watching people as well as they have people watching people and as well as they have cameras. So somebody tried to literally run outside with items in their hand and they got caught. They got the hammer down on them and they got caught. So don't be coming in these bin stores trying to, don't be coming in any store, not even just the bin stores. We are not children anymore. And that's the sad part about it. It wasn't a child, it was a whole grown adult. So I don't feel sorry for you. Like, I mean, I, I told you, yeah, I went to prison and stuff and I used to steal and stuff, but yeah, I'm an adult now. We don't do that anymore. <laughs> yeah, moral of the story, we don't do that anymore. Uh, yeah, so yeah, that's it guys. <laughs> that's it for this video. Uh, Shout out to the person who tried to steal and got caught. Um, thank you, I needed that footage and I needed something to talk about in this video. But uh, anyways, yeah, that's all the items that we got today, guys. You can see that we grabbed some great items. I'm so shocked at that toothbrush that was in there. Like I am genuinely shocked that toothbrush was in there. I thought I was just gonna be selling the glass. And yeah, that's crazy. So remember the last previous video when I opened the case and there was a game and that game was missing? Well, in this case, the scenario flipped where I thought that game, I mean, where I thought the thing was not in there and it was in there the entire time. That's crazy. I can't wait to tell the owner who helped me open it. Like, yo, dude, it was in there the entire time. Like, that's just crazy. But anyways, thank you so much for watching the channel. Thank you for like, sharing, and subscribing. Make sure that you bless somebody today and go check out the new Palmetto Deals extreme if you have time located in spartanburg south carolina i will leave that description in the description box below for you guys and yeah make sure you go check it out go check out any of these bin stores if you're near a bin store and you got time go go check it out i'm not telling you to drive 17 hours to go do it but yeah go check it out even though i did i drove 10 hours to go to that grand opening but anyways it was definitely worth it definitely made my money back and gas and everything when i look at it when i look back at it at, in retrospect and on top of that, I should have made profits too. But anyways, guys, I'm rambling. And you know, I know you guys hate when I ramble. I know you do. I know you do. But yeah, I haven't said in a while. Profits 2021, that is my merch. Make sure you go check out my merch. I will leave that link in the description box below. And as always, anything Prison of Profit, you can find in my link tree that will always be in every description box moving forward and probably previously too. So anyways, yeah, let's go ahead and end this video because nobody's probably watching it anymore. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I, I took this long. Anyways, make sure that you bless somebody today. I promise you I'm gonna bless somebody tomorrow. At this point in time, your boy Tay is out. Shout out to my man Leroy from Blood, Sweat, and Cell on YouTube for coming to hang with me. I came in 10 hour drive straight to the bench store and he came and hung out with me. Thank you so much for that, Leroy. And then I also reached out to the owner of Palmetto Deals Extreme and he said all shoplifters will be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law so don't be shoplifting from their stores thank you so much for watching the channel now i'm out